All right, this is first grade module four, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using an official place value chart in order to understand how a two digit number can be decomposed into tens and ones. So let's get started on that. So the idea would be, let's say we begin with this idea right here. So we've got a strip of 10, a strip of 10, and then five units. And the idea is we want students to be able to see that, oh, that represents 20 right here plus 5, and that's here, and together that's 25. Another way that students can see that, and that this is where today's lesson is going, which is we want them to see this and, and think of that as two tens rather than 20. We want them to see it as two tens and five ones. Ultimately, really where we want is we want students to be able to see the number 25 and see this number as its um, component parts. Like, we want to see this too as two tens. We want students to see this too and think of it as two bars. Or we want students to see this too and think of it as 20. So that's really where we're at. We want them to see that too. And then we also want them to see this five as five ones or five unit cubes or as a five in, in a number bond. And so really, we want students to be able to move fluidly between these four representations of a particular two-digit number. So here we're going to write in our little place value chart the tens and the ones. So it looks like, I don't know, these are sticks. And we've got one, two, three groups of 10. So we're going to put three tens. And then I can see we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four individual ones. So I'm going to say we've got three tens and four ones. And so how many straws are there? There are 34 straws. So what we could do is we could say this as 34, but we can also call this three tens and four ones. And that's really where we want our students to be thinking of this, is we want students to be seeing 34 and saying the name 34, but we want them to think or see in their mind's eye three tens and four ones. Similarly right here, we've got a 10 here and a 10 here, so we have two tens, and then we've got three individual peanuts, and so there are 23 peanuts. Similar uh, to the last slide is this one where we're kind of slowly removing away some of the scaffolds. Now instead of talking about real life objects, we're just talking about cubes. And we can see that we've got a 10 and another 10. Eventually we don't want our students counting the individual cubes, but you may, parents and teachers, need to count those individuals just to make sure your students believe that there really are tens. So we've got two tens, and then down here we've got four ones. So how many cubes do we have? We have 24 cubes. We would say two tens and four ones, or we could say 24 cubes. And I love this because this is kind of showing the commutative property. It's showing us that we've got a 10 and a 10 and way over here a 10, so we have three tens. And that's really kind of showing the commutative property that we can move these things around and still have the same value. And that we see that we have six ones, so we have 36 cubes. And we want, again, students to see that three as 30 plus six. We want them to see that three as three rods. We want them to see this three as three tens, and we want them to see this three as 30. Uh, it's a multiple representations is really what we want our students to see. And lastly, we're kind of going in reverse. Now we've got the value in the place value chart, and we want to write in the missing number. So say them the regular way and the say 10 way. So if we've got this, so what's the number? Well, the number itself is 32. Now, how would we say that the regular way? The regular way is 32. Now, what is the say 10? The say 10 
method, and this is particularly for parents at home who don't have the teacher's edition, the way we would say 32 using the say 10 method is we would say three tens, two ones. Right. And that's really, we're just making explicit the digits in that two-digit number. Similarly, right here, what's our number? Well, our number is 9, and our say 10 method would be 0 tens, 9 ones. And that wraps up first grade module 4 lesson 2 using the place value chart to understand two-digit numbers and that a two-digit number is really the sum, it's a decomposition of three tens, in this case, and two ones.